Hey my friend, what's going on? Cater here on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friend. Is the weekend excited? Hope you're having a great time. But anyway, in today's video, guys, I want to talk about um, product creation or affiliate marketing. You know, should you be uh, doing affiliate marketing or should you become a product creator and create your own product? I want to talk about the cons and the pros inside of this video because they both have cons and they both have pros inside of it. So stay, stay tuned. guys affiliate product versus product creation so you have affiliate product in one hand and product creation in the other hand so affiliate product is when you become affiliate of somebody else's product so the good thing with affiliate product let's start out with the good and then we'll talk about the, the cons after or so the pro things with affiliate product with affiliate product you get paid from 50 to 75 percent commission on a product that you did not have to make you did not have to come up with the sales page you did not have to come up with the members area you did not have to come up with the content you did not have to come up with how good the sales page convert with conversion and all all you have to do really is grab your link and promote it so for affiliate marketing that's how I got started you know I started I didn't have my own product you know I started promoting other people's products so I would just go grab a link and promote somebody else's product whether that's product is for you know YouTube Facebook marketing whatever the product could be whether it's a physical product or if it's just a, um, an info product so you definitely want to get started with affiliate marketing because it's easy you know you don't have to come up with the product and you can find millions thousands to millions of product in many different platforms such as JV zoo click banks um, click sure and you can promote this product and make a commission out of it now let's talk about the bad the bad thing with just being an affiliate promoter which I highly recommend to any new going to stay there why because what you don't want you when you become an affiliate of somebody else's product you promoting their stuff so you getting them more exposure you giving more exposure to their brand why you're not building yours you know ultimately you don't want to just stay in promoting other people's product which is cool right you want to help out and, and and expose and make some money but you don't want to just stay there reason why you are building the other person's list you're not gonna have a list long term in order for you to create your own list to create your own brand your own following your own tribe you need to have your own product which is people sucking in your own information so that is why we are gonna move this is the bad part this is the kind of of affiliate marketing of affiliate product now let's go into the your own product your own product the the amazing part with having your own product is that you get a bunch of traffic for free because if you can get affiliates other people that's gonna go out there and promote for you even if you pay them from 50 to 100 percent commission on the sales that they are making remember there's the saying in business that says that you know the point of a sell is not to gain a sell the point of a sell is to actually gain a customer so when you can get the person to go out there and get your sell which is cool now just imagine when that person comes into your tribe if you treat them right you give them training you share other products with them you have that person on your list you are able to contact that person connect with them show them different stuff and make money over and over and over again and that's how powerful being a product creator on um, building a tribe and getting the traffic for free because if you ended up having a really great product and consumers love it you're gonna end up getting a bunch of affiliate that's gonna go out there and promote your stuff so that's the good part now <laughs> the con is that if you don't know how to put a product together sometimes it can take you anywhere between 500 to 10 to 20 thousand dollars to put one together because you got to pay for copywriting you got to pay for the sales page designers if you don't know how to design a sales page you know you got to pay for a lot of stuff you got to pay for the affiliate back office you got to pay for um, the members back office you got to create the content so there's a lot of thoughts there's a lot of calculation that comes into creating a product 
product, which the other person as an affiliate don't have to deal with, but you ultimately want to be there because that's where you make, that's where it is most lucrative. That's where you make most of your income. So the good and the bad for affiliate marketing, the good and the bad for a product creator but you know it's all good everything is good I just want you to get the understanding if you don't have your own product I would highly recommend you you know grow become an affiliate start promoting other people's product suck in the knowledge and find a skill set that you best of and create a product out of that skill set so you can get people to consume your information and that being said, my friend, that was Kater with a quick training for you today. Hopefully, you find massive value in this. If you do, please leave a comment below. And also, if you are trying to create your own product and you don't know where to start, you don't know where to go, I've created multiple products and I've promoted thousands of other people's product. I've made a lot of income promoting my own product and other people's product. I can really help you. Check out my coaching. I'll put the link below inside of this video. That was Kater. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys later. Bye.